It was a pleasure to go through Google, as I'm sure uh, many of us do on a daily basis, to study up on the two honorees I'm about to introduce, Congressman Engel and Congressman Royce. And um, the more I read about them, as I mentioned to them prior to this, the more I admired them. Um, and I had to apologize to both of them for not being able to include much of what I learned uh, about them this evening in my remarks. Uh, but instead, uh, Congressman Royce told me that if I just mention the lovely Marie, he will forgive me. So I'm mentioning the lovely Marie, and I'm mentioning the lovely Patricia uh, before we get started. Aaron just uh, mentioned my writing career, and I can't help but re be reminded of an interview I gave here in Washington, D.C., a few years ago after the release of my uh, most recent book, uh, during which the interviewer asked me uh, if I was happy with the success of my book. And I thought about it, I paused. Um, she was sort of staring at me because it was not a pause I was supposed to be taking. And then I took stock of my life. I realized that I had published a book, I had not been executed, I had not been imprisoned, and I had not been interrogated uh, for, for putting out my work, um, which is something that had happened to uh, many of the friends, uh, writer friends that I have um, in the Iranian community. So I told to the interviewer that I consider myself a runaway success, and, um, and I am incredibly grateful um, to be here and to be able to have um, the writing career that I have in a country where there is no censorship. It is against this backdrop that I think the true contribution of our two honorees tonight can best be understood. They are two in individuals who embody what is most enduring in our American democracy. They come from different ethnicities and religious backgrounds, not to mention political parties. Yet they have forged a bipartisan dream team together. Time and time again, they have shown great dedication to our most pressing domestic issues while engaging with some of the most dire struggles beyond our borders. They speak out even when speaking out does not earn them popularity or deliver television crews to their doorsteps. Their victories stem from a passionate belief in the power of ideas to inspire positive change. Their programs aim to energize US international broadcasting, to offer an alternative, an unfiltered voice in the forgotten corners of the world where lies make headlines on a daily basis. It gives great hope to me and all of those who, like me, have crossed over from oppressive communities into the openness of America to know that there are lawmakers who understand the importance of engagement, not retreating, and allowing America to lend a voice to the bearers of truth in their millions as they labor under censorship and tyranny.